What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel where we talk about sneaker street wear music and everything in between. I'm your host Icarus, welcome back to the show. I appreciate you guys stopping by so don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more content in the near future. With that out of the way, let's get to it man. So for this video, I'm actually going to be unboxing some of my recent haul from the previous months. I actually plan on doing like separate videos on these but my schedule got me fucked. Up. Anyway, I'm showing you guys some merch and some footwear that I accumulated since December up until this March. So let's get to it, man. First one up, we got these pieces that I got from Hello Old Days Clothing Co. and Gunner Clothing. Now, if you haven't seen them already, we actually featured some local brands on the previous episode of Beyond the Hype. Feel free to check it out, link down below. And the first shirt is actually from Hello All Days Clothing Co. Shout out to those guys. They've been really killing it from their recent drops. And this is one of their recent drops, the Barcelona shirt. I mean, look at that. Ooh. Really, really love the print on the Barcelona piece featuring the goat himself. I really love the colors they did on these from the orange, the purple, and the reds. Of course, the small intricate details. And I did mention this in our local streetwear episode. Again, link down below. This really feels like a work of art, man. Paying homage specifically to MJ doing his dunk contest shot in gold chains, but in his outfit in the 1992 Olympics held in Barcelona. Y'all see his awards and accolades right here at the right side and y'all see the goat himself holding the world in the palm of his hands with his six championship rings really really dope piece overall next one up are two shirts from gunner clothing huge huge shout out to job corpus and of course stuff on air for putting me onto this brand really really dope products as well again i'm really into that big printed streetwear so i really resonate with hello all days and gunner clothing so here we go diving into the first shirt we have the slim reaper shirt featuring kd himself y'all see the vintage vibes again Gunner Clothing is known for their vintage wash shirts and that's been really popping up recently. You have KD in their signature art style with Slim in red and blue. And of course you have KD holding up a huge sickle right in front. From the varsity colors in the front, we move to a black, gray, and white print right here at the back with Reaper straight across and of course another print of KD himself. And I really love the look of this because it's a vintage wash shirt. It's a new shirt, but it does have that worn look to it, if you know what I mean. Now, I'm not going to say I'm the biggest KD or Nets fan, but I will say he's a phenomenal player and I really love the overall look of this shirt. And I feel like it's rare to see that wine red in a vintage wash, so it is a great addition in the closet for sure. And last but not least, this second shirt is in this vintage faded black wash. We have the Travis Scott vintage shirt. Y'all see the vibes right here. Travis Scott himself, Mr. Sicko Mode, Mr. Astro World. You have Travis Scott in red in that trippy font right here in the background. We have Trav himself riding the eagle just like he did in Astro World. And of course, the back print. We gotta talk about the back print, which pays homage to one of his albums, Rodeo. Again, I'm really, really glad with this pickup. Again, both shirts are actually from their Grail collection. So they do have a Shopee page and Instagram page for both Hello Old Days and Gunner Clothing. So feel free to check them out. Now, next one up, footwear. First one in the ringer, we have this black Habayanas box with a textured print all over and Japanese kanji in the front. You have Tradizori right here in the bottom. I actually got this from one of the best sneaker blogs in the Philippines. Shout out to Sneaker Planet PH. I actually won this in his first episode in his YouTube channel. And yes, he does have a YouTube channel now. So feel free to follow him on Instagram and on YouTube. And as you pop the box open, ooh, they even have like a lot of details right here in the back. Inspired by the colorful streets of Tokyo in 2021, Havayanas goes for a stroll around the iconic areas of the city to draw the new chapter of Tradizori. So you even have different colorways of the pack itself. And as you pop the box open, you get the tissue and then you get the footwear right here. And it's the Havayanas Tradizori slipper. 
So this is basically, I guess, based on the Japanese tabby. You'll see it in the camera. So again, it's a basic rubber slipper or rubber flip-flop if you may. The one that holds your foot right here is in this really nice cloth overall. Really, really soft to the touch. And it does have like a flat footbed right here. Extend them right here at the bottom, you know, to give that traditional Japanese look. Havaiana Stradizori. This is a size 43 to 44 beige. And of course, since this is not my size, uh, in the essence of Sneaker Planet PH, I will be giving this away to my brother as a Christmas present. And he hasn't opened this yet, so belated Merry Christmas, bro. <laughs> Sakto, he's a size 10, so this is perfect for him. And he's been really into like Japanese culture lately, so this is like a perfect Christmas gift, which he hasn't opened yet, surprisingly. Now, next one up is my first win of 2022 you get this orange nike box and that's the size tag would read women's nike dunk low ess white worn blue white huge huge shout out to commonwealth for my first win this 2022 and as you pop the box open you get the tissue and then you get the sneakers bam this is the women's nike dunk low paisley in that worn blue colorway. You have that worn blue colorway in the overlays with that paisley print swoosh and of course the white vamps right here in the toe box, medial lateral side and the embroidered Nike branding right here. And of course you got that white midsole right here with that worn blue colorway for the outsole. I'd say still one of the best traction out there same DNA as the Jordan 1s. You can't go wrong with the Nike Dunk right now. I think the two main difference to this and my Nike Dunk Low UNC is that this has that worn blue tongue right here compared to a white. And of course that tasty swoosh. But I gotta say to the usual Nike Dunks that have been coming out recently, this has like a really nice leather to it. Again, not the best quality leather, but fairly well compared again to my UNC Dunk Lows. I love those shoes but the leather quality is terrible. Again if you could get these for retail or slightly above this is not a bad pickup overall for your boo. There you go. That was the women's Nike Dunk Low Paisley in that worn blue colorway. Now last but not least you see the box. You see the sleeves. Now <laughs> This is actually a delayed pickup since I actually ordered this right around December 31st, but got it around January because of the holidays. You have this all over print of the Amamanya branding and of course an all over sale and burgundy box with Amamanya branding right here in the lid. And as you pop the box open, you get a special tissue paper right here and then you get the sneakers. This is the Yabamanier Air Jordan 1s. This is the sequel to the very popular, uh, I'd say, the undisputed sneaker of the year last year, the Yabamanier Jordan 3s. Such a beautiful, beautiful shoe overall. Now, I got this from Ox Street, and if you're wondering, yes, they are legit, okay? But before I talk about Ox Street, I gotta talk about these sneakers first. Let's take both of these out right now. It comes in this all over cracked leather upper in that sail colorway from the toe guard, medial lateral sides, right up until the heel. There you go. And of course we have the main accents of the shoe and this is the burgundy snake print right here on the heel collar as well as in the swoosh. It comes in this burgundy lace right here with extra sail laces with metal aglets. And moving into the guts of the shoe, we have the most premium detail of the sneaker. And just like the Jordan Free Amamanier, we have the quilted inner liner in that burgundy finish. Burgundy inner liner as well, right here in the tongue, with a burgundy insole with a black patch. Airness by Amamanier for Air Jordan compared to the standard Nike Air print. We even have that cracked leather right here on the tongue as well. Again, it might be a turn off to some sneaker heads, but I really love the cracked leather on these. It does give that premium look. 
and it does look like suede from afar. We also have a nylon Nike Air branding right here in burgundy, as well as Amamanya branding right below. Another interesting detail of the sneaker is that the midsole comes in the sail finish, but it does have like that pinkish hue to it. Again, huge shout out to Seth, to Jules, and of course to Carl Sandra. Man, when they had these sneakers, I was all over it. And I really appreciated the story even more. Finally, into the outsole, we have that burgundy standard Air Jordan 1 outsole. Now the Amamanya Jordan 1 does come in detached wings with small intricate prints as well, just like the Rookie of the Years. And it comes with this burgundy cracked leather hang tag with Air Jordan Wings logo right here on one side and the Amamanya branding on the other. Now with all purchases from Ox Street, you do get this Ox Street tag that has been verified and legit checked when they come to their storage. Now for those who are wondering, Yes, Ox Street is legit and they are a Singaporean based company. They're sort of like StockX, but they are centered right around here in the Asia Pacific. Now, I will be leaving links down below to my YouTuber friends who have covered Ox Street more extensively, so they have made content about it. Again, shout out to Noah Marcus, Street by Danny, The Jella Beef, and many, many more. I'll leave the links down below. From my personal experience, I'm giving out two advices when you're ordering here in Ox Street. My first advice is to ensure and declare the value you want on the app. Before you check out the sneaker, do declare the preferred value of your shoe. Because if you don't fill this out, they will go to your standard retail value. So for example, if you're buying it like a Jordan 1, they will declare the retail value of the shoe, which is 8,000 pesos or right around $160. But if you're buying like a New Balance sneaker, it might be a little tricky since some New Balance models does have like 10,000 and above for their retail. And you might get taxed for that. And that's the advantage of Box Street compared to some sneaker companies abroad because they're not going to declare the purchase price. They're going to declare the retail value instead. And my second advice is be mindful of the conversion of the Singaporean dollar to the Philippine peso. Again, if you're ordering here in the Philippines, do check the conversions on their app from time to time, as well as from a separate window. Again, it's more accurate if you check it on the different browser, okay? Because at any given time, the Singaporean dollar may change and it will reflect on the Philippine peso when you get charged on your bank. Because I have heard some stories where they buy a sneaker for let's say 5,000 pesos, but they ended up paying 7,000 pesos because of the Singaporean dollar equivalent. Again, be mindful of the conversion and don't buy a sneaker in Ox Street if the Singaporean dollar and the Philippine pesos conversion is slightly fluctuating or it's not stable at the current time. What's going on guys? Future Rickers here and this is what I'm talking about. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Let me pull up my window real quick and here we are. So. Currently, we're at Ox Street site, and this is like a window for this, is like an example. Okay, Yeezy Slide Soaker. Let's say you're gonna be buying it, you're gonna be charged for 8,939 pesos, equivalent to 252 Singaporean dollars that's included with shipping. But if you go to the current real time conversion of Google, which is 252 Singaporean dollars, it's equivalent to 9,647 pesos. Definitely higher than what's on the Ox Street app. Again, they are a great service and they are a legit company, but they have to work on this real-time conversion of a Singaporean dollar to the Philippine peso. Again, be very wary of the current conversion. Let's get back to it. But overall, from my experience, I hadn't had any issue from the delivery. So it's all good from that. And I highly, highly suggest you take a look at Ox Street because their market value and their market pricing are very, very competitive right here in the local street we're seeing. Again, I might shoot an on peak review of these very, very soon, probably around the time where the Air Jordan 2 Amamanier comes out. So stay tuned for that. Well, that's it about me, man. How about you guys? Leave a comment down below and let me know what are some of your recent sneaker or streetwear pickups this 2021. Leave a comment down below and let me know. Always appreciate you guys stopping by. Again, don't forget to check out the latest episode of Beyond the Hype, link down below, where we talk about five different local streetwear brands under a thousand pesos. So please check it out. Like, 
comment, subscribe. Check me out on Instagram at Rural or it's right here for more sneaker, streetwear, and music-related content right here on the channel. I am Icarus, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.